Happy Tuesday, everybody. We're gonna try something different today, a lobster souffle. Um, this is not, and it is like a traditional souffle, except we're gonna start it with a uh, choux paste, or pâté choux, which is uh, the dough that they use to make eclairs. Except this one isn't gonna be topped with chocolate or stuffed with cream. It's gonna be made with lobster tails. And then we have some butter, flour, eggs, your traditional souffle stuff, but the technique is completely different. So what do you say we uh, souffle, can we see? So first, pâté choux, choux paste. We have to take some boiling water and some butter. A little bit of heavy cream. We're gonna bring it to a boil. We're then gonna thicken it with flour and make a sort of a paste. You'll see in one second. We're gonna season it with some dried thyme and rosemary. A little bit of this uh, lobster fat that I got from my lobster stock that we're gonna use to flavor more lobster, more better. Plus the chunks, of course. This is also gonna be used as our sauce for our drizzle. So we're gonna take about a half a cup of flour to a half a cup of water, uh, two tablespoons of heavy cream, tablespoon of butter, a little bit of salt, because we seasoned our lobster stock already once upon a time. Now we're waiting for all this butter to melt. We're gonna help it along here, make a happy little butter liquid. Lobster loves butter. And now this is gonna thicken really, really fast, but you need to cook it a bit, so and then we're gonna whisk it in with a fork until it's thick, sort of like a, a bread consistency, if you will, or a paste. If you need to add a little bit more flour, by all means, you can't take it out. You can always add some more. You don't want it too, too thick, but a little bit thicker than this, which is gonna work out some of those happy little lumps. The lumps will work itself out eventually but the bigger ones, we're gonna help it out. See how it's getting nice and thick? Again, we wanna cook it, although we're gonna cook it again in the oven as a souffle, but we wanna cook the flour or else it's gonna be like All right, take it off the heat. And then we're gonna pop it into a metal bowl and we have to cool it down because the next part is all about the eggs. We're gonna use this. While it's cooling, we're gonna put our cut chunks of lobster in it. The heat from the flour from the pate choux or the choux paste will cook the lobsters halfway-ish while it's cooling down. I know it sounds like an oxymoron, but trust me, I'm a professional. All right, look at that, boom. Okay, we're gonna take our souffle dish cooking spray. Then we're gonna take some flour and we're gonna put it into the souffle dish and just gently turn it so that the flour coats the inside of the dish. That way the souffle has a chance to rise. It won't stick to the inside. All right, about 15 minutes later, we uh, check our hot pate choux. So now we're nice and chill. The lobster has, a, has a, a glaze of cook on the outside, but it's still kind of raw, which is good because we're gonna cook it again. And now we're gonna separate three eggs. I need the whites to make a meringue. Don't get any yellows or any shallows in there. And then we put the yolks into the choux. If you get the yellows, the yolks inside the whites, it retards the process of whipping air into the whites so that it'll never, it'll never meringue. It'll never meringue for you, meringue, okay. And then we're gonna take our trusty little whip, whip them a thingamajiggy. Uh, we are going to whip our whites to a stiff peak. Making figure eights. All right, so now we have a like nice stiff peaks. That's what we're looking for. 
more air, our souffle rises. Now we're gonna take our uh, mixture with the yolks and we're gonna uh, mix it all, incorporate it all evenly together. Again, the lumps will work itself out. And now the fun part, we're gonna put, we're gonna put half of these egg whites into our yolk and shoe mixture. And then we're gonna gently fold it in. We wanna keep as much of the air as we possibly can. So we're gonna fold it in. I like that. Taste it just a little bit. We have enough salt, we have enough time, we have enough seasoning, ready to roll. So now, make sure you get all the lobster pieces into our dusted, our flour dusted dish. Go all the way to the top, because we want that baby to rise high. Cool. And then we're gonna take our lobster, other half, and we're gonna just put it in the center. And that souffle should rise right around it. Nice. All right, 350 degrees, 15 minutes. Hope for the best. Uh, see you in a little bit. While it's in the oven, we're gonna take our lobster stock and cream, and we're just gonna warm it up because we wanna drizzle it. We'll have that ready to eat when we're ready to use it. So, I said it was gonna be 15 minutes, but now we're up to like almost 17, but well, let's see what we got. Oh, snickety snacks, look at that. That is a lobster souffle. So we're gonna remove it, put it onto our greens. And then we got our lobster cream. We're gonna drizzle that right on top. And there we have it, ladies and gentlemen. The wonders of lobster souffle at your fingertips.